Hey, this is Rock Hunter Mark. I have some exciting things to show you in this new video. Here's since you like the uh, mammoth teeth and the other ones, here's some mammoth teeth that I have. They had one on each side of the jaw and one on each side upper jaw. This is the bigger one than the one I found in my previous. This looks like the one in my previous videos, but it's not. It's a little bit bigger. There's plates. This is a monster tooth piece of one. And here's a little thing of plates. I have more mammoth teeth to come that I, I already found. Hey, if any of you found any other mammoth teeth out there, um, let me know in your comments. And the, the next video is going to be of recent finds and some really cool rocks that I find. There's one under the water. Hampton end scraper. Some Indian pottery. Oh yeah, gorgeous Atlee. Stone square stuff, just beautiful. I just want to show you some hematite I have here. Um, it's it's a natural mineral that goes from dark, hard, hard to softer red. Indians would use it to make paint. Here's a hematite axe, three quarter grooved. Got a big hammer end. Here's a broken one. Three quarter grooved. There's. They work this flat. Here's here's a line maker. They rubbed it for a line. Plummet. Broken plummet fishing weight. Comes in all new. Here's another broken plummet. Uh, 
But all these are work from the Indians. You can see where it's been smoothed. Smoothed and they rub their teepees or cave walls or articles of clothing. Use every little edge of it. See, it's, it's a beautiful red. Here's a, a grooved hammer. It's grooved right there. So they had it on a stick like this and used it for a hammer. It's real heavy. Hematite is a heavy material. Rarely, sometimes hematite's magnetic, but normally it's not. None of this is magnetic. Worked on the end there. Shiny, and they just took it and went. <laughs> Hey, now I'm going to show you these hand choppers. They, they hold the in the end and then use this in the soil. Dig with it. You can see the polish on it. This is super smooth and to polish flint is a pretty big feat. It's hard to do. It takes a long time to polish flint. But I have choppers that are the same. This is called, this, this, the skin of the original rock is called the cortex. I have several examples of pieces of flint that they hold and they'd use that edge. It's a flint hand chopper. This is probably a core where they took a flint hammer. strike the flint and it drives the flakes off. See where the flakes were driven off? Because they hit, they struck it like this and it, the atomic structure is so simple it followed the plane of least resistance. There's a hand knife. tool chopper it's beautiful flint this is a hoe they use this in gardening big to dirt tool it's a wonderful Indian artifact it's a big one here's, here's another big hoe Delicious. This this is an arrow shaft groover. Found this where there's bird points, and they take the shaft of the piece of dogwood or whatever kind of wood they use, and they run it down to the sandstone, and they left two ruts. It's just a rock, but they used it. Pottery bowl I found. Found this 25 years ago. Maybe 30. And a little decorated edge. Here's a view of the arrowheads that you've seen so far in the earlier videos. Here's a close-up of beauties. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. I'm really happy with all the subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy!